太极螳螂。啊、uh, ，we mentioned this. You mentioned this 太极螳螂。Can anybody know or let us know? Uh, what's the difference between 太极螳螂、梅花螳螂 ？Or are they the same thing or different thing? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> totally new. Uh, totally new. Uh, let's talk about this grandmaster. Uh, Liang Xue Xiang. Uh, Very important to make make your mind to know the history. Uh, when when we start to learn some different style, we, we should firstly we know where where the they come from, what's the development, what happened. Liang uh, Xue Xiao. Liang. Of course, Liang Xue Xiang has had many disciples or students, but these four people are very, very important figure to the development of Mei Hua Tang Lang or Plum Blossom. This one. Anybody know Zhao Zhuxi? Heard of about Zhao Zhuxi? Zhuxi Pai Tai Chi Tang Lang. You probably heard. We got some people who is there. He's a dissident. They call it Tai Chi Tang Lang. Tai Chi Tang Lang actually was from Mei Hua Tang Lang. Ah. This this one. I, I don't want to, to waste the time to, to talk about too many people. But his grand students, Zhao Zhuxi, <coughs> he, he was from Shandong province. Then he went to southern part of China, Canton, Hong Kong, then Vietnam. He's a major developer to the southern part. It's not a southern prime mantis, but he's a northern prime mantis develop, developing into southern region. Uh, some Vietnamese prime mantis practitioners from him, Hong Kong, they call it Tai Chi Tang Lang. When you if you heard Hong Kong, they, they call it the Tai Chi Tang Lang. They're probably from this lineage. Ah, probably this lineage. These two people are the most important to the development still going on now in Shandong province. Jiang Hua Rong, 
Song Zhe, they, they were actually Kung Fu brothers. But he sort of, and also some sources reckon he was also a student of Jiang Harong, Song Zhe, but they were Kung Fu brothers. But their relationship is just like he is a chief, he is like an assistant. He was running a uh, academy, something like that. He was helping him. In many cases, he was just sitting in the chair, talk about and give the instructions. He gave the demonstrations, something like that. Uh, but they, they both learned from Liang Pixiang. From them, 